Starting in the mid 2000s, I believe, um, leading up to games, you would have tears literally rolling down your face out of concern over how you sounded. Um, explain what was going on there. Well, I went through a tough time. I went through a, uh, a tough period. Only a couple of people knew about it, really. That I was going through a major throat problem. I mean, major. It was, uh, it was you know, Graham, it came a point where I came very close. Very close. I thought maybe it was over. The party was over. Face Why? Because I couldn't get words out. I couldn't get them out like I wanted to get them out. It was a struggle. It was a struggle. I mean, a struggle. And finally, what happened one day, I came home, my son-in-law, who's a surgeon, Chris came home and he said to me, I met a doctor today here who's a new throat guy in town. I want you to see him. And I don't want to say, I'm tired of seeing guys. Man, I saw seven guys. They all tell me I have to just live with this. No, no, I made an appointment. So I went to see him. He looked at me and he said, Dick, I don't know what it is, but there's something I don't like that I see when I go down looking into your throat. He said, but I can't get into there because I don't have the equipment to do such. And there's only one guy. He said, he's the best of the best. He is the Michael Jordan. He said, the Larry Bird. He is the creme de la creme, Dr. Steven Zytels. And I'm going to get you an appointment with him. Not easy, but I'm going to get you an appointment with him. Well, he did. And I started trying. He gave me a hell of an education. Called my wife over and he said, your husband's got a problem. Got a problem. He says, see, he's right here. These, I guess, black marks, whatever they were. He said, he's got lesions all over his throat. He said, and it could be cancerous. He said, we will not know until we do surgery. And we went, we did the surgery, and I just uh, got a lucky break, uh, went in there. It was pre-cancer. It was called dysplasia. Today, he and I have become such great friends. He is absolutely a superstar beyond superstars. Uh, Dr. Zytels has operated on giants. Uh, in fact, when Adele won her Grammy, she said to the crowd, she said, I owe this all to Dr. Steven Zytels. You go in his office, it's like a who's who, man. James Taylor, Steven Tyler. You'd be shocked at the people. Cher and all these, Lionel Richie, all these people that have had some throat problems. I ask this because the ladies that were putting on your daughter's wedding even told me they had to stick you in confessional before the wedding just to keep you from talking to people. So after the surgery, you couldn't speak for three and a half weeks. It was What's tough. that like? And, and the toughest for me, was, I'll never forget this, it's about four and a half, it was a little more than three and a half weeks, it was longer than that. It might have been five weeks, I'm not sure, but it was a long period of time. So now it was time for me to go back to see him. And he said to me when I walked in the office, he said, speak to me. And I couldn't, he'll, he'll tell you this if you ever interview I couldn't get words out, I, like that. He said, speak to me. I was afraid, fearful what's going to come out because you read all reports after surgery, sometimes you don't sound like you didn't know. And I was afraid of what was coming out. And fortunately, he had me count to 10, one, two, three, I'm gonna then do the alphabet, A, B, C. Like a little kid, man, you're, you're in your late 60s at the time or whatever I was, and I'm there trying to learn the art of how to speak. And since then, I have followed his rules. He has a bunch of rules. He does it with his singers as well. Number one, I don't do double headers anymore. I don't do two games in one night. Okay. Don't do that. Number two, I try to avoid 99% of the time, I don't do back to back games. I don't do that. Number three, days of games, I try to be as low key. So, what they do now at ESPN, they get a room. And I go out a few minutes with the kids, sign autographs, take pictures, and I'll go in a room and relax my throat before a game. Didn't you go to a vocal coach? Oh yeah, I, I get one, I get one regularly. In fact, he's supposed to be here today. Okay. And because you're here, you've taken a spot, he's gonna be here next week. And he goes through uh, some routine I gotta do, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, what, what are the exercises? Well, you know, there's a lot of crazy, uh, crazy exercises like, um, uh, oh my God. Some of the stuff that I do, you, you'll be hysterical. Uh, if you, you wanna see some, I get right under my, my desk there. Right there, they should have been underneath there. There's some of the sayings and some of the, and I'm reading lesson. <clears throat> the skunk sat on a stump and thunk the stump st st stunk, but the stump thunk the skunk stunk. 
Five fine Florida florists fried fresh flat flounder fish filet. I mean, these are, these, it's, it's comical. But if we do these regularly, we've been doing them for seven, eight years now, and, and it works. Uh, uh, you know, it's just uh, unbelievable.